All right, guys, we got another travel video today, so here we go. So today we're looking at 10 minutes. Every minute on the minute, you'll do five push-ups, 10 sit-ups, 15 air squats. So let's go through each movement and how to modify this for your ability. A push-up, we'll go through modifications in a second, but things that we're looking for is a nice tight core. So think your torso and pelvis stay uh, moving together instead of something like where you're giving spine away, we want to keep that nice and solid together. Now we want to rotate out against the ground or whatever you're doing this on um, so that you've got a stable shoulder position. So think, we don't want to be in a chicken wing like you see oftentimes in push-ups, but we want to have hands down just like you'd see a bench press, an overhead press, or handstand. So from the side looking here, pushing away, we'll look at the setup and a few ways to modify this. Next, taking a look at sit-up. So if you're traveling and you can't carry an ab mat with you, another good option is to use a, a towel or fold in half a pillow, something that you can put under the small of your back there so you've got something to support you as your spine curls away. So you've got hands tucked behind your head, pulling through to in front of your feet. Or if you're using that towel or fold it up, pillow and go through just like that all right looking at the air squat we want to make sure hips go through the um, hips drop below your knees so that hip crease coming all the way down all the way back up and again you're getting your knee stacked directly over your foot from the side looking like coming down all the way up workout again we're looking at 10 minutes every minute on the minute you do five push-ups, 10 sit-ups, 15 air squats. If um, looking at this total thing, so if you're looking at push-ups, for example, we've got uh, 50 total push-ups. If right now where you're at getting back into training or doing it on the road, um, 50 sounds like a lot. Think about modifying that. So like in 10 minutes, if we asked you to do 20 push-ups, would that be a better option? So you drop that number to two, or maybe instead of doing it on the ground, you can bump that uh, that starting point you can be on a bed or a dresser or something to reduce it. So thinking about that's a way to make it easier. Then to make it harder, you could do this uh, for 15 minutes or you could increase, hey, I want to work on push-ups. I'm going to go from five to seven. Just some thoughts there and we'll see you guys tomorrow.